invisible God, immortal God, our greater, immortal, immortal, invisible God, invisible one, immutable God, our great thou art. Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah, you are the Lord, Elohim, oh Elohim, Jehovah, you Elohim, 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 Jehovah, Jehovah, you are my God, Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah, you the Lord, Elohim, El Ayam, Jehovah Shaman, you are the Lord, Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah, you are the Lord, Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah, you are my God, Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah, you you are worthy, Father, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, you are worthy, Father, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, you are worthy, Elohim, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, you are worthy, Master Jesus, you are worthy, you are worthy to be glorified. We find angels are singing, you are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, you are worthy, O Lord. O Lord our God, you are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, Lord, you are worthy. Oh, Lord, you are worthy, Lord, Elohim, you are worthy, Lord, Elohika, you are worthy, Lord, yes, we praise you, Elion, you are worthy, you are worthy, Lord, yes, you are worthy, Lord, oh, you are worthy, Lord. El Shaddai, you are worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. Amen. Almighty oh, God, you are worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. Amen. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. 
You are worthy to be glorified, Almighty God. You are worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. Amen. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, yes, that is your name. Almighty God, that is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. Oh, you will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Father, we just exalt your name. We worship you. Come on, exalt his name. Oh, ya bagadi anda zabagada. Oh, yes, Lord, we have come again. Oh, rabagadi anda sebegede bragada. Oh, we come before your throne. Oh, we bow down. We cast our crown. We lift your name on high. You are faithful. Heavenly Father, he got the bragada. Halianda zebegele bragada. We worship you, mighty God. We exalt you. Is the bragade bragada. You are faithful. There is none like you. Yes, you are the immortal one. Be thou glorified, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to day eight. What a wonderful time. We are going from strength to strength, from glory to glory, from grace to grace. What a privilege to be in his presence throughout the month of December. Many people are running out of skelter. Many people are afraid of calamities, but that is not our portion. He has brought us into his presence. He's he has brought us to intimate us of his plan. And tonight I just want us to start um, or continue because we already started. We're already in his presence. To, to get into his presence and um, worship him with the hymn, Immortal, Invisible God. So let's sing it together. If you have it, I believe I shared it already on WhatsApp. Let's do so. And then we'll pray and take our communion. If there's anybody you invited, you can still share the link with them to join us. Amen. Praise God. One, two, go. Immortal, invisible, God only wise, in light and accessible, He from our eyes, most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, almighty, victorious. Thy great name we pray, unresting, unhasting, and silent as night, no wanting, no wasting, thou rulest with might, thy justice like mountains, high soaring above. Thy clouds reach all fountains of goodness and love. To all life thou givest, to both great and small. In all life thou leavest the true life of all. We blows up and flourish. As leaves on the tree, and wither and perish, but not change at be. Great Father of glory, pure Father of life, thine angels adore thee, obey in thy sight. Oh Lord, we will render. Or oh, help us to see, tis only the splendor of light high as deep. Immortal, invisible, God only wise, in light inaccessible, hid from our eyes. 
Most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, almighty, victorious. Thy great name we pray. Amen. Let's begin to edify ourselves in the Holy Ghost. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. May God be lady, Lianda, Zaba, Gadianda. We have come before our Father, and the language of the Spirit is the intimate tongue that we speak with Him. Is the Holy Romance. Come on, pray. Gadebra, Gadele, Lianda, Zaba, Gada. We are rubbing minds with our Father, speaking mysteries. We are stirring up power deposits. We are stirring up divine empowerment. We are stirring up divine life. We are unleashing the river within, from our innermost being, from our spirit. Man, come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. May God be Gada. Father, we thank you for this sweet communion with you. Thank you, Lord, for this hour of prayer. We worship you. We bless your name. We give you praise and glory. We exalt you for the privilege to come. E bele brege de bele ba 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 le braga de bele ke suko tolianda zabaga dianda zabagada i gali brage de brage supo so holo brage sikete i braga se preke suko tolianda e ba 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 le ke sikete lianda zabaga dianda o ba ya braga da ba lianda Father we worship you we bless you we honor you you are so faithful O God take all the praise and glory in Jesus name it's time for us to pray I want you to get your communion element because we are going to be praying for fresh fire, the anointing of fire. As we continue on this mountain, I want you to give thanks to God because the Bible said we have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God. The Bible said upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. He said on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. Some of us need anointing for deliverance. Some of us need to duplicate the anointing. We need to have multiplicity of anointing for holiness. Some of us need to possess our possession. This is the mountain of possession. This is the mountain of deliverance. This is a time where we are face to face with God. We are in the heavenly courts. Come on, give him praise. Say, Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for the anointing of fire. I thank you, Lord, Father, for this mountain of deliverance. I thank you for calling me out of darkness into your marvelous light. According to First Peter tonight, you are a royal priest to the holy nation, the peculiar people. He said he has called daughters of darkness to his marvelous light. Come on, celebrate that tonight. Give him praise. Say, I'm grateful for the baptism of fire. On this, on this mountain. I'm, I'm grateful for the baptism of fire on Mount Zion. Thank you, Lord, for this mountain of deliverance. I'm grateful for making me a partaker of Zion. I thank you for making me a partaker of Zion. Come on, pray earnestly, give him praise. Say, Father, I thank you, Lord, for angelic escort at all times. The Bible says we have come to a numerable company of angels. Say, Father, I thank you for divine interventions. You don't know how many interventions you have daily. If only God opens your eyes, you will see ah, all the raging battles, all the flying arrow, and the Lord deflecting them, the angels keeping you. Come on, give him praise. Say, Father, I thank you for being my God. I thank you most especially for writing my name in the Lamb's book of life. Father, I give you praise. You say it's not miracles that matter. It's not, it's not, it's not the ability to cast out demons or do anything that matters, but it is there. The grace to make it, the grace to please him. And he said that not all that call Lord, Lord will make it. Not all that call Lord, Lord will enter into his joy. I want you to give him praise because your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. My name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Come on, give him praise. Father, we exalt your name because this is our testimony. This is our joy. We exalt your name, Lord, for that, for but that chapter 1, verse 17, you said, Upon my son, they shall be delivered. You said, The house of Jacob shall possess their possession. We thank you for this mountain of possession. You said, The house of Jacob will be a fire. The house of Joseph, a flame. We thank you for inflaming us, Lord, for that, infusing us with your fire. Come on, giving praise, giving praise, giving praise. A God day, bragada, bragada. When we come to pray, we are coming to charge ourselves up. The Bible says, As in water, face answers to face. So the heart of the man to another, your heart is answering to the heart of the Father right now. The heart of the Father is being stirred up in your heart right now. His passion becomes your passion. Yes, his intention becomes your intention. His will becomes your will. His desire becomes your desire. That is what happens when you come to pray. You are coming to rub minds with God. You are coming to behold the face in a mirror. You are coming to become more like him. Father, we bless your name. We thank you for this privilege. We thank you for saving us. Come on, thank him. Say, Father, I thank you for saving me by the precious blood of Jesus. I'm grateful for your supernatural life that takes prisoners in my natural life. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 says, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Who 
walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. He said, the law of the spirit of life has made us free from the law of sin and the giving praise. Say, Father, I thank you for my supernatural life. I give you praise. I thank you. I thank you for my supernatural life. Be that exalted. Be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, come on, thank him, thank him. Say, Father, I thank you for making my health, my thinking, my stamina, my appetite, supernatural at new birth. Say, Father, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for the breath of fire in me. Oh, Father, Lord, I thank you, Lord, Father, for the new uh, regenerated me. Father, I thank you for the renewed nature in me. I thank you for your divine nature in me. I thank you, Lord, Father, for the rebirth, so God, that you have given to me. Thank you, Father, for creating me in your true nature, after your likeness. Thank you, Father, for your God-likeness in me. I give you praise, O God, for your divinity in me. Oh, Father, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Thank you for the bread of fire in me. Oh, thank you for your power that is at work in me. Oh, Father, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I bless your name. Oh, Lord, I bless your name. Thank you for the new life. Thank you for being a wall of fire around me. Thank you for being a wall of fire around my entire household. When my children go out and come in, when I cannot even be there to protect them. Oh, Lord, you shield them. You shield every one of us. Thank you for my husband. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the fire, the wall of fire. You said it in Zechariah 2 5. You said you are the wall of fire around us. You said you are the glory in the midst of us. Oh, be that exalted. Oh, God, we are grateful. Come on, praise God from the depth of your heart. Say, I'm grateful for the angelic warriors watching over me 24 7. If only God will open your eyes. I tell you, you'll be amazed. Angels surrounding you. I was talking with one of my beloved the other day and I said, hmm. Angels may not look like what we think they look like. Angels, some of them look like lions. Some of them look like eagles. Some of them look like robots. Some of them look like warriors. I've seen a warrior angel at the back of my house before wearing shiny, glistening helmets with a, with a ferocious face. I was I started praying in tongues. I was binding and losing the Lord said, just calm down. That's your angel, your warrior angel. I've seen I've seen different things that God uses to protect his own. Come on, pray and say, Father, I thank you for being a wall of fire around me. I thank you for the angelic detail watching over me, the warriors watching over me 24 7. I thank you, Almighty God. You see, the prophet told God, He said, Lord, open the eyes of the Lord that you will see that there are more with us than they that are with them. Father, I give you praise for this angelic detail. Thank you, Lord, for the tongue of fire on my head everywhere I go. You see, in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. Verse 3, the tongues of fire was evident on their head when the Holy Spirit fell upon them. Come on, thank God for that tongue of fire. You may not see, but the kingdom of darkness sees it, and they know you are marked. They avoid you like a plague. <laughs> Come on, give him praise. Say, Father, I thank you. I thank you for the tongue of fire on my head. I may not be able to see with my physical eyes, but I know that it is there. Thank you for the baptism of fire. I give you praise, O oh God. Hey, God, they bring God, they bring Lord, I thank you for divine exemption from calamity. The Bible says of his mercy that we are not consumed. Come on, give him praise. The calamity of this year. Hey, 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 you don't even want to know. Do you know how many reports of dead people were dead? Do you know how many noble, how many powerful, how many anointed, how many rich, how many young, how many old have gone? But you know God has kept you and I. It's not because of our own doing. It's just because he's God. I want you to praise him because of his mercy that fails not. Come on, give him praise. I'm grateful for the exemption from sicknesses, from diseases. I'm grateful for divine protection and safety at all times. I do not take it for granted at all. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. That we take all the Praise and glory. Hey God, they brag that the brand beyond that. Say, Father, I thank you for the anointing to break through when the world is breaking down. I thank you for the anointing to break through when the world is breaking down. The Bible says when men are cast down in Job 22, 29, then we say there's a lifting up. Say, Father, I thank you. Hey God, they brag that they brag that beyond that. See, Praka, so Praka, so put Thank you for the anointing to break through when the world is breaking down. I'm grateful for the power of deliverance. I'm grateful for the power of deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus that is ever speaking in my life. Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of my sin. Thank you, Lord, for healing, for provision, and all spiritual blessings. The Bible said we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 1 3. Come on, give him praise for that spiritual blessing. Ah, that spiritual heritage. Come on, give him praise. Gelabru, Goda, Aladi, Eledo, Lekele, Lebragada, Irabra. 
Raga Suko Tolianda. Say, Father, I'm thankful for deliverance working for me. Sometimes you are going through deliverance, you don't even know. Many of us have this myopic arm. Um, mindset that until somebody is shouting and yelling at you and you are jumping up and down, that is deliverance. Deliverance happens daily. Deliverance is safety. Deliverance is rescue. Deliverance is in taking you out of darkness. Deliverance is in keeping you, delivering you from evil, rescuing you from danger, rescuing you from death. He said to him, belongs the escape from death. Come on, give him praise. Say, Father, I am grateful. I am grateful, oh God. I'm grateful for the power of deliverance at work in me daily. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus that is ever speaking. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, 24. He said the, the, we have come to the mediator of the new covenant, to Jesus Christ, the mediator of the new covenant, whose blood speaks better things than the blood of Abel. What does the blood of Abel cry for vengeance? The blood of Jesus is crying vengeance on our behalf and is crying mercy for us. Come on, declare and say, Father, I thank you. I thank you for the blood that is ever speaking in my life for forgiveness, for mercy. Oh God, the brand the brand the Alianda for protection, for provision, for spiritual blessings. I'm grateful. Hey God, the brand that the Alianda in Jesus' mighty name, amen. You are going to pray and say, Lord, baptize me afresh with the wind of fire. Baptize me afresh with the wind of fire. You will see that the Holy Spirit came like a rushing mighty wind. And you will see that in the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, they said the Spirit of the Lord hovered upon the face of the deep. He is the same wind that moves around. The Bible says, whatsoever is born of spirit is spirit. He says, so is everyone that is born of God. He blows wherever it wishes like the wind. Say, Father, baptize me afresh with the wind of fire. If I were you, I will lift up my hands. I will open my heart. I will receive fresh fire, fresh fire. Lord, I receive baptism of fire. Ah, that I need to run my race. Ah. Let your Holy Spirit within me activate the tongues of fire, the tongue of fire. Let your revelation anointing manifest in me gloriously this season. Open my eyes to view wondrous things out of your word. Let every word find fulfillment speedily in my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord, let this word be active. Let it be powerful. Hey God, they bring God down. Have the dynamic working power. Oh, let the wind of the Spirit envelop me. Let the wind of the Spirit envelop me. Let your Holy Spirit within me activate the tongues of fire in my life, in my mouth. Oh God, that Leander, let your revelation anointing manifest in me gloriously this season. Open my eyes to build wondrous things out of your law. Ah, Daddy, Lord, I pray. Let your work find fulfillment speedily in my life. This season, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray and say, Lord. I consciously operate the tongue of fire this season. The Bible says he who believes in me just as is written in scripture out of his belly shall flow rivers of blazing water. The Bible says who has my spirit. He said that he said he, he, he said the spirit that 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 raised Christ from the dead dwells in you. If that spirit is in you right now, he said it will quicken your mortal body. You are supposed to be moving. <laughs> you are supposed to be moving fire. I don't know if I'm making sense. The Lord showed me one of the songs recently, and I saw fire charging from his back all over, from head to toe. That is how God wants you to be moving, mobile fire. You are a bundle of, a, a bundle of miracle, a, an embodiment of power. He said that in Ephesians 3.20, he said, according to the power that is at work in you, that fire is in you. You need to set it ablaze. You need to kindle it. Jesus Christ said in Luke 12.49, he said, don't you know that I've come to set the word of fire? I wish the fire were already kindled. I want you to pray right now and say, Father, from today, I consciously operate the tongue of fire. I engage the mouth of wisdom that then make cannot resist what against say in Luke 21 verse 15. I engage that tongue. I engage that tongue. I set ablaze every negative report in the mighty name of Jesus. No negative report will work in my life. Come on, pray. I release the creative force of the most high God from my mind and I decree I'm satisfied with goodness from the foot of my lips in Jesus' mighty name. No negative report is supposed is allowed to operate in my life. No negative report is supposed to operate in your life. Come on, begin to negate all the negative reports. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, with the tongue of fire, according to your word in Psalm 29, I cancel and I burn, I set ablaze every negative report. I don't know what the negative report is. It might be in the area of your health. It might be in the area of your marriage. It might be concerning your children. It might be concerning the work of your aunt. It might be concerning your business, your ministry. What is the negative report? It might even be verbal reports from people when they have used their mouth to destroy your character, your reputation, or your ability to progress. Come and begin to scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. If you read the book on Religious of Captivity with us as a ministry, you will see that the, 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 the author wrote about demons that make negative decrees. Begin to overturn them in the mighty name of Jesus. I set a every negative report. I declare to 
do not stand. In the name of Jesus, I release the creative force of the Most High from my mouth. I decree that I'm satisfied with goodness. The Bible says you'll be satisfied with goodness from the good of your mouth. You'll be satisfied. Your belly will be satisfied with goodness from the fruit of your lips. That's what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 20. He said, power of life and death is what is in the tongue. Come on, activate your tongue of fire right now. In Jesus' mighty name, I want you to pray and say, Lord, I walk in the fullness of the mandate to go into the world and preach the gospel to all creatures. The Bible says you should go there, casting out devils, healing the sick, raising the dead, speaking with other tongues. I operate with the tongue of the learned today. I know how to speak a word in season. I operate the anointing of Matthew 28, verse 18 and 19. I operate the anointing of Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Mark 16, 15 to 18. Come on, begin to declare in the name of Jesus. I move out in the name of Jesus. I preach the gospel. I cast out the devils. I heal the sick. I raise the dead. I speak with other tongues. Come on, declare. This is effective in me. At the mandate of the glorious commission. I operate with the tongues of the land. According to Isaiah 50 verse 4. I operate the tongue of the land. My voice is filled with power and amplified to overcome problems and all manner of challenges. In the name of Jesus, come on, declare. The word of God is fire in my mouth. I like fire shock up in my bones. May God de bragada. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the land. I have a word in season to speak to him that is weary. He wakens me morning by morning. He wakens my ear to hear. My spiritual ear pop open. My spiritual ear pop open. In Jesus' mighty name, our next prayer point, you are going to say, Lord, I activate every spiritual blessing that has been set apart for me. Today, I activate it in Jesus' name. I destroy every lack, want, and shame. I proclaim strength in the place of sickness. I declare fruitfulness in the place of emptiness or barrenness. My cup runs over with the anointing that breaks in you. Come on, declare. In the mighty name of Jesus, I activate every spiritual blessing that is set apart for me in the heavenly places. My cup runs over with the anointing that breaks the yoke. I proclaim strength. I proclaim increase. I proclaim fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, I make progress. In the name of Jesus, I'm a trailblazer. In the name of Jesus, my health flourishes. My days are multiplied like the days of a tree. I delight myself in the Lord. I bring forth my foot in season. My leaves shall not wither. Everything that I lay my hands to do shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on, pray. According to the word of God in Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. My leaves shall not wither. Everything I lay my hands to do shall prosper. My cup runs over with the anointing. According to Psalm 23, verse 5. I proclaim strength over my body. Father, baptize me afresh with fire. Fresh fire for my assignment. He said, is the one that baptizes. It only goes and with fire. Come on, receive that fire right now. I receive fire. Let your fire engulf me. Let your fire envelop me. Let your fire incubate me. Let your fire infuse me. Come on, pray. Say, Father, baptize me with fresh fire. Fresh fire for my assignment. Let your flame kindle within me for transformational change, for generational impact. Lord, let your fire blaze within me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Bible said there's a power that is at work in us. Many people go to the grave with that power. Without activating that power. That's why the man, Miles Monroe, said that the richest place on the earth filled with treasure is not the womb but the tomb. I want you to pray. You must not carry that anointing to the grave. Remember that Elisha, the servant of Elijah, when he died, the Bible makes us to understand that the fire was still kindling in him, even though latent. So that when they threw a dead man into his tomb, the man came alive. I want you to pray and say, Father, convert my latent energy, my potential energy, turn it to kinetic energy, turn it to active force, active force. I must affect my world with unending aspect. Father, Turn the latent energy, the dormant energy, the potential energy. Let it be activated today. By this fire, by this anointing, I shatter the stronghold of darkness in my bloodline, in my church, in my community. With this power, I shatter, I shatter the stronghold of darkness. Father, turn the latent power in me. Oh, Father, the power that is laying following me. Ah, Father, let it be activated this season in the name of Jesus. Lord, punch me, renew my strength with the fire. Ah, yes, yeah, the fire power like Moses. The Bible said in ah uh, in 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 Deuteronomy chapter thirty four verse seven. He said that Moses was hundred and twenty. 
Do you know that? <laughs> God showed me Moses in that he stepped into glory. He stripped his outer garments, he fell, and he stepped into glory. That is how every child of God is supposed to step into glory. Every son of the highest. I want you to pray and say, Father, purge me, renew my strength with the firepower like Moses. He was 120 years old. The Bible said his natural force was not abated. That means his body refused to die. He said his, his natural force was not abated. His vision did not grow dim. Say, Father, let my body be transfigured like my master Jesus. Who says shown? You will see that Moses saw the glory of God in Exodus chapter 33. The Bible said that when he came down from that place, from that encounter, nobody could look him in the face. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, renew my strength. Anoint me and belove me with your power such that my body will be transfigured like my master Jesus. On the mountain of transfiguration in Mark 9, Luke 9, and Matthew chapter 17, you see when Jesus Christ came down, the Bible said, he says, shown. Let my face shine, O God. Ah, Lord, let my face shine. Let my face shine like lightning. Let my body be transfigured. Ah, my body cannot be destroyed by sickness or diseases. The Bible said, God anointed Jesus Christ with Holy Ghost and fire. Father, and Anoint me with fire. Let me go about doing good like my master Jesus. Anoint me with fire. Anointing of fire. I want you to pray and say, fill my cup with fresh oil. Brand me, O oh God, as a flaming fire. Ah, for my generation. Brand me for the depre- for the deliverance of the oppressed in the name of Jesus. Oh, brand me, O oh God, as a flaming fire. The Bible said in Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17 and 18, he said that you will be the house of Jacob who possess that possession. The house of Jacob will be a fire. House of Joseph a flame. The Bible makes us to understand. In Isaiah 49, verse 2, he said, He has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he has hidden me. He has made me a polished shot. In his quiver, he has hidden me. You are hidden with Christ in God, believe it or not. You are a polished arrow. You are a polished shot in his hand. I want you to pray and say, Father, anoint me. Brand me as a flaming fire, as a flaming arrow. A God, the brother, the brother, use me as your fiery arrow to dismantle every stronghold of Satan, every stronghold of darkness in my family, in my nation, in my generation. I break down those strongholds in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 120, Seven verse three to five. He said, "Children are the blessing of the Lord. The fruits of the womb is his reward. Blessed is he that has the scripture full of them. He will stand at the gate to contend." I'm paraphrasing that scripture. I need you to pray and say, "Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Galebra, Gadobra, Gadianda, Shipaka, Sepreke, Sukoto, Lianda, Lebra, Baba, 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 Egelebra, Gesukoto, fill my cup with fresh oil. Brand me as a flaming fire for the deliverance of the oppressed. Use me as your fiery arrow, dismantling every stronghold of darkness in my generation. In the mighty name." of Jesus, you are going to pray, Lord, I manifest my divine nature. Today, I manifest my divine nature. As a son of God, as I say, so shall it be. Ah, yes, his word is in my mouth becomes like fire. I gain mastery over life's issue. I gain mastery over life's situation. My voice is full of power and thunder. My voice breaks ancestral yokes and communal darkness. I manifest the uncommon, the uncommon grace to appropriate the right word for every situation in the name of Jesus. The Bible said in Psalm 29, it said the voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord glories and thunder. The voice of the Lord is upon many water. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The Bible says, hey, so are you in this world. The Bible says that we are created in his image and after his likeness. Do you know that the breath of life was given to Adam so that he would become a speaking spirit? But he lost that fire. He lost that glory and power. But guess what? Jesus Christ came. He died and he said, it's expedient that I go so that the power will come. He said, the power will come. He said, you'll be endued with power. You'll be enveloped with power. You'll be masked in power. You'll be baptized with power. That power, that fire is what is talking about the Holy Spirit. He came and he filled them. Every single one of them, he gave them utterance to speak. They became speaking spirits. I want you to declare in the name of Jesus, like my Father God, like my Father Elohim, the voice of the Almighty God is mighty upon the water. My, my voice is full of power. My voice is full of thunder. The Bible said the voice of God thunders. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Cedars are big. They are fast. They are tall. He said that my voice, your voice, you are going to declare my voice breaks the cedars. The cedars of Lebanon. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the Lord, the vast of flame of fire. My voice is like fire. My voice is like flame. In the name of Jesus, my voice thunder. I manifest the uncommon grace to appropriate the right words. I know what to speak according to Isaiah 15, verse 4 and 5. Hey God, they brag that about. I manifest my divine nature. Come on, declare. I manifest my divine nature. I am empowered as I say. So shall I see it in the name of Jesus. Ah, the, the word of God in my mouth is like fire. I gain mastery over life issue. I gain mastery over life circumstances. My voice is full of power. My voice is full of power. My voice thunders at the God day, brother, the brother, the under sepekete in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to declare I defeat all ancestral spirits. Mm. 
I defeat all ancestral spirits. I shatter generational yokes by the blood of Jesus. Don't get tired on me now. Come on, pray. I defeat all ancestral spirits. I shatter generational yokes by the blood of Jesus. I destroy all demonic affliction running through my bloodline with the anointing of Luke 10, 19. I possess my possession. I declare that I'm marked for success. Today, I take back everything that the enemy has stolen from me. Proverbs 6, 31 says that when a thief is caught, he will restore sevenfold. Today is that day. I want you to declare everything stolen from me is restored. Everything stolen from me is restored sevenfold. Everything stolen from my generation's past is restored. I decree sevenfold restoration in Jesus' mighty name. I possess my possession. I possess my possession. I don't know what's missing in your life. Mention it right now. I possess my possession. I take back everything that the enemy has stolen from me in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to declare as a fire, uh, as a fire I'm unstoppable. As fire is unstoppable, I'm unstoppable. Hey, God, they brag that, that, brag that, that, that. As fire is unstoppable, so am I. I'm a force to reckon with in my career, in my ministry, in my academics. Mention your area of endeavor. Mention your field of endeavor. I don't know what you do, but I know what I do. I want you to declare that in my career, I prosper. In my ministry, I prosper. In my academics, I prosper. In my destiny, I prosper. My destiny cannot be diverted. My, my destiny cannot be manipulated by the forces of that end. My destiny cannot be truncated. I said the destiny of my children cannot be diverted or truncated. In the name of Jesus, I am too hot for the enemy to handle. I said the destiny of my husband cannot be manipulated by the forces of darkness. Come on, declare. As fire is unstoppable, so am I. I'm a force to reckon with in my generation. I'm a force to reckon with in my career, in ministry, in academics, in life and destiny. Hey God, they brand that, they brand that. My destiny cannot be diverted. My destiny cannot be wasted. My destiny cannot be truncated. In the name of Jesus, I want you to declare with this fresh oil and move with the speed of light. You will see that fire consumes. <laughs> when you see fire blazing, it doesn't respect anybody. I want you to declare, I move with the speed of light and with the intensity of fire. The Bible said the path of the just is like a shining light, shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Oh God, the brother, the brother, the other. She prakato, bragado, bragado, lianda. Hey, lebege, yebe, lebe, lebe. I love bragato, lianda. I move with the speed of light and the intensity of fire. I swallow up poverty. I swallow up poor self-image, low self-esteem, retardation, Condition, misfortune, sickness, every bag with old syndrome. I scatter it, I shatter it today with this fire. The fire burns every spirit of poverty, every spirit of death, every spirit of insanity, sickness, mention whatever is wrong in your family. Every spirit of misfortune, every spirit of sorrow, stagnation, depression. I declare in the name of Jesus, this anointing of ease speaks for me. Anointing all makes for ease. You will see that when you see uh, machinery working and they oil it, you know, even the door, you oil it. It works. You know, the joints, when you oil it, it works better. It moves better. The anointing of ease, the oil of ease. See, the oil of ease speaks for me. My light attracts other lights. You see, when you want to light a lamp, you put oil in it. That's what the parable of the wise virgins was talking about. Oil for light. You need that oil. You need that oil. You need that anointing. I want you to pray and say, Father, let the anointing of ease speak for me. Let my light shine. Let my light attract other kings and priests to the kingdom. Let me become a kingdom magnet by your light. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want you to pray. The Bible says in Joel 2, 2 3, he said, the fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burns. He said, the land is like the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate road, and surely nothing shall escape them. The end time army of God in Joel 2. I want you to declare, I manifest the power to get wealth. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. Everything we are declaring here is from the scriptures. Deuteronomy 8 18 says that it gives us the power to get wealth. Come on, claim that power right now. In the name of Jesus, I cannot be stranded. I cannot be held down. I cannot be living from hand to mouth. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, I have something tangible to show for my work, for my diligence. In the name of Jesus, I'm empowered as a smart worker, anointed as a wealthy steward. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm programmed for success. I'm blessed on every side. Come on, declare. Hey God, the brand the brand the under. I am programmed for success. I have something tangible to show for all my efforts. In the name of Jesus, I will not waste my effort anymore. My effort will not be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have the power to get wealth. I am empowered as a smart worker. I'll get the brand the brand the under. I am blessed on every side. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want you to pray. Lord, teach me the language of faith. Teach me the language of faith. Teach me the language of the Spirit. Oh, Father, school me in the school of the Spirit. Father, instruct me in the school of the Spirit. Help me to instruct my children and my generation after me. Lord, teach me the language of the Spirit. Father, teach me the language of the Spirit. The Bible said we have the same Spirit of faith, and thereby we speak. He said we speak. He said we have the same Spirit, and then we, therefore we speak. You have the same Spirit of faith in you, the Spirit of God in you. I want you to declare in the name of Jesus, 
Jesus, Lord, teach me the language of faith. The Bible said without faith is impossible to please God. Teach me the language of faith, oh God. Help me to instruct my children and my generation after me. Cause me to walk in the high places of the earth by your secret. Help me to put away forward leaves by your holy fire. In the name of Jesus, in Isaiah chapter 6, from verse 6 to 8, the prophet said, Woe is me, for I'm undone. I dwell among the people of unclean lips. He said, The angel of the Lord took the, oil, uh, uh, the, the, the light coal of fire and took my lips. And he said, uh, Behold, your iniquity is purged. He said, Your sins are forgiven. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. Touch my tongue with your holy fire. Touch my tongue. Cause me to walk in the high places of the earth by your secret. Help me to put away forward mouth in the name of Jesus. Forward lips in the name of Jesus. Touch me with your holy fire. Baptize my tongue. Immerse my tongue with your fire. Cleanse my tongue with your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on, declare. From today, my prayer compels angelic activity. Second Kings six seventeen again. The prophet Elijah was on the mountain. He was he was in seclusion. He was before the Lord, and he was there with his servants. And the and the and the army of the enemy came seeking him out. And the Bible makes us understand that boy was afraid. But the prophet said, Lord, open the Lord's eyes that you see that there's more with us. There are angels with us, chariots of fire, horses of fire. When I'm in the plane. And when I'm moving out, the Lord has shown me horses of fire and chariots of fire many times. I remember one of the recent assignments I did, I was on the plane, and on my right and my left, I saw white horse. They were there, chariots of fire. The Almighty God is always surrounding us, but you need to open your eyes. I want you to pray and say, Lord, <laughs> my, let my prayer compel angelic activity for divine healing, for supernatural supply, for divine protection, for spiritual warfare. You need this. You need to understand this. Let me be surrounded by your chariots of fire at all times. Let me understand that I'm surrounded. Let me understand that I'm surrounded. A God de Braga de Bralega de Bralaga de Anda Sapaka Yandiada. A singer said, This is how we fight our battle. Yes, I know I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by you. Lord, surround me. Ah, Father, let my prayer activate angelic activity. Let my prayer compel angels for divine healing, for supernatural supply. You see the angels. Angels stand the water in John 5 2. Hey God, they braga, they braga, they under. Angels, they brought the quail, the wind, they bring supplies. They feed these people with manna. They feed his, 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 his people. They felt it. The angel supplied food to Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19. I want you to pray and say, Lord, supernatural supplies, divine protection. The angel of the Lord encamp around them that fear him. They fight their battle. 1 Kings chapter 37, verse 36. The angel of the Almighty God killed 185,000. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, we'll see. That the, the the angels of the Lord were engaged in that battle. In Exodus chapter 12, verse 29, you see the destruction of Egypt coming to defend Israel in Egypt. I want you to pray and say, Lord, let my prayer compel angelic activity for divine healing, for supernatural supply, for divine protection, for spiritual warfare. I'm surrounded by the chariots of fire at all times. In the mighty name of Jesus, the wind of the Spirit cooperates with me to sweep out foul spirits, infirmity, insanity, barrenness, repeated failure. I burn and devour also witchcraft, throws of perversion, collective captivity. In in Jesus' mighty name, the Bible said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be surprised that I say to you, do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born again. For the wind blows wherever it wishes, the wind blows wherever it listed. So, and you hear the sound of it, but you don't know where it's coming from, where it's going to. He says, so is everyone that is born of God. You are wind, sir. You are wind. <laughs> hey, God, the brand, the brand, the I want you to pray. I said, the wind of the spirit cooperates with me. Helps me to blow and to sweep out every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of insanity, every barrenness, every repeated failure. Come on, begin to say, in the name of Jesus, depression, oppression. Hey, God, the brand, the brand, retardation. And limitation, a God will bring that up. Every retrogression in the name of Jesus, I burn you in the name of Jesus. Intimidation, a God they bring that up. Prayerlessness, lukewarmness, complacency. Ah, yes, iniquity, I burn you with the fire of God. The wind of God cooperates with me. I God they bring that up. You know that when the wind cooperates with fire, it begins to blow, it begins to blaze. Say, Lord, let your fire cooperate with me as a flame in fire, as I burn and devour. How so witchcraft, thrones of perversion, collective captivity in the name of Jesus. Fire purifies. Fire refines. You will see that when they want to purify metal, they put it through fire. Hey, I want you to pray and say, Father, let your fire purify me. Fire purifies. Fire beautifies. Refining fire purify me. Our Lord, decorate every aspect of my destiny before this year runs out. Come on, pray. Decorate every area of my destiny before this year runs out. Let your fire beautify my marriage. Let your fire beautify my finances. Let your fire 
your anointing empower the work of my hand. Let your fire beautify the work of my hand. Sanctify my finances. Sanctify me. Oh Lord, my career, my ministry, business, academics. Let your fire refine my entire household. Let your fire pass through my house. Let your fire cleanse us. Hey God, the brother, the brother, the other. Ah, your fire beautifies. Your fire purifies. Lord, purify me. Purify me as silver and gold. Refine me. Oh Lord, decorate every aspect of my destiny with your holy fire, with your beautifying and refining fire. Hey God, the brother, the brother, the Let your fire beautify my marriage. Let your fire sanctify my marriage. Let your fire sanitize my marriage. Let your fire purify my finances. Let your fire purify my hands, the work of my hand. Let your anointing empower the work of my hand. Oh God, the brother, the leander, in my career, in my academics, in my ministry, let me flourish. Let the whole world know that you are with me. In Jesus' mighty name, I want you to pray. Job 2, 25 talks about restoration. It talks about compensation. I like this transition. The Amplified they said, I will compensate you for the years that the Swami locals are sitting. The creeping locusts, the stripping locusts, the numbing locusts, my great army which I sent among you. I want you to pray and say, Lord, let the anointing of restoration speak for me. Let the anointing of compensation speak for me. Oh, Father, Lord, let me walk in the realm of heaven on earth where there is no lack, where there is no reproach, no pain. I declare this is my season of supernatural exploits, supernatural restoration, divine compensation. I declare compensation in every area of my life, spiritually, ministerially, in my world, in my calling, in my destiny, in my election. Hey, God, they brag that that in my vocation, in my marriage, I declare speed in the name of Jesus, restoration, I declare mercy, I declare compensation, come on, declare in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, amen, you are going to declare as a flaming fire, I possess my possession, remember Buddha chapter 1 verse 17 and 18, I possess my possession, I'm empowered for deliverance and holiness, I kindle and I devour every form of oppression of the wicked in my family, in my nation, in my community, in my generation, my Lord and my God, I pray in the name of Jesus for the fresh fire, the anointing, how to possess my possession, the anointing of deliverance. A God, the brother, the brother to the Lianda, the peke to the Lianda, she passed at all Lianda, the peke to Lianda. In Jesus' mighty name, you are going to pray, Lord, purify my spiritual faculty. You need your eyes open. You need your ears to hear beyond the realm of the inaudible. You need your eyes to see beyond the realm of the invisible. Say, Lord, show me. Father, show me. Father, purify my spiritual faculties with your holy fire. Let me see visions of the day, visions of the night with clarity. And let my ears to operate beyond the realm of the inaudible. Baptize my tongue with fire. Let me operate in the school of the prophets. Hey, God, they brag that, that, brag that, that. Let me operate in the school of the prophets. The Bible said in Zechariah chapter 13, verse 9, I will bring one thought through the fire. I will refine them as so far is refined. I will test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name. I will answer them. I will say, this is my people. Each one will say, this is my God. I want you to pray and say, Father, refine me, purify me. Cleanse my spiritual faculty, my eyes, my ears, my heart my sense of perception, my touch, my smell. Oh, Father, purify me. Kate, le grege, de bragada. Le bragada. So, the same way you can smell things in the physical, do you know you can smell and sense things in the spirit? Hey, la bragada. Some people can smell lust. Some people can smell death. Some people can smell abundance. Some people can smell sweet fragrance of favor. You can smell anything if you train your senses. The Bible said strong may belong to those who by reason of use have their senses exercised. Come on, say, Lord, hey, God, de bragada, purify find my senses, the touch you can feel. When you enter some places, the air on the back of the air will stand. It's a literal thing. It happens. Hey, God, the brag, the da, brag. Say, Father, train my senses. Refine my senses. Let me sense properly. Let me read you properly to define my spiritual faculty. Let me see visions of the day and visions of the night. Many people think prophetic is just about seeing. Sometimes you can hear. Sometimes you can sense. Sometimes you can taste. Sometimes you can hear. <laughs> sometimes you can actually have the impression in your heart. Sometimes you can have that supernatural image formation because you have a mind of the spirit. Hey, God, they brag that. That's what the Bible talks about in 1 Corinthians 2, 16. He said, who, are, who has known the mind of Christ? That means trusting, but we have the mind of Christ. You have that spirit mind. Hey, God, they brag that. 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 They be praying for yourself. Hey God, the bragga, the bragga, the under. Oh Father Lord, answer the prayer of somebody on this altar. The Bible said in Job forty two ten that Job prayed for his friend and God gave him a double. He gave him double restoration for everything that he lost. I want you to pray and say, Father, grant the secret petition of somebody on this altar. Let this be their day of divine encounter. Let this be their day of visitation. Let this be their day of speedy turnaround. 
In the name of Jesus, visit them like you visited Sarah. Every mother of nations in our midst. Father, let them carry their baby. According to the time of life, let them come back in nine months. Let somebody prosper like the house of David. Make a little one like a thousand, a small one like a strong nation. Heal every terminal illness, every sickness, under the sound of my voice. Lord, let them be released in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare healing. You say healing is the children's bread. In the name of Jesus, let, let, let lost destinies be restored. Let every lost destiny, whether it's professional, vocational, uh, destiny, marital destiny, let them be restored. Let everyone say so be saved. Father, we pray. God, Debra, God, Leander, we pray for release, oh God, upon this altar. Salvation, oh God, anointing. Uh, Father, we pray that you will keep our women with young God, the pregnant women, all those who are blessed with the fruit of the womb. Let them carry their babies to town and deliver their babies, oh God, like the Hebrew women, gently. Uh, Father, Lord, quickly, beautifully, oh Father, anoint our children as signs and wonders to their world. The Bible said that our children, they are for signs are for one that come and declare our children are taught of the Lord. Great will be their peace. Ah, they will be far from oppression. In the mighty name of Jesus, fear will not come them near them. Calamity or terror will not come near them. Hey God, they bring that, they bring that, they bring that. No weapon from the gates of our children shall prosper. We declare as this year closes, no loss. No loss is permitted in this family. No loss is permitted in Neymar to prayer ministry. No loss is permitted in this ministry. Hey God, the brother that we declare there shall be no loss. Ah, Father, perfect that which concerns everyone on this altar. Father, perfect the families, perfect all Lord, Father, even as this year runs to an end. Perfect every life. Oh God, what concerns us, the details that you have packaged for this year, for every individual. Perfect us, perfect everyone on this altar. In the name of Jesus, come and grab your communion and let's begin to pray. I want you to address anything that is negative right now in your life. Grab your bread. I have my bread and your cup. I want you to overturn everything with the precious blood of Jesus. The power, the word of God is powerful. The blood of Jesus is powerful. Let me tell you, in Egypt on that night, the Lord told them that they should eat the bread, they should eat the Passover in a hurry. They should eat it in haste. He said, with their dead guard on their waist. Because they were going to be released that night. They were released that night. <laughs> they were released that night from Egypt. I want you to pray. It's the night of vengeance. I want you to pray and say, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, it's time to overturn every problem in my life. Let them be overturned. I don't know what negative problem, life situation you are facing right now. Come on, declare in the name of Jesus. It is time to be, for them to be overturned. I declare today, this problem is swallowed up in victory. Just like Pharaoh was swallowed up in the Red Sea. I want you to declare it. Through this communion, I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, Mangede Bragada, this problem is swallowed. It is time to overturn all the problems by the blood of Jesus. You can destroy that problem and demolish that spirit of barrenness, generational poverty, mental affliction, marital failure, academic failure, or spirit of infirmity by standing on the word of God and proclaiming it over your life. Engage your tongue of fire right now. Destroy every yoke right now. Speak over every, speak life over every death situation. Speak life over every death situation. The Bible says, if you say to this mountain, be that removed and cast into the sea. You will have whatever you say. And you know that the blood of Jesus seals the deal. I want you to pray and say, Father, every problem that came with me to this mountain, let them be swallowed up in victory. Have from this table. Have, Father Lord, I declare vengeance. The Bible said we have come to Mount Zion, to the mediator of the new covenant, whose blood speaks better things than the blood of Abel. I declare in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus speaks for me deliverance from this mental affliction, from this physical affliction, from this marital problem, from this spirit of barrenness, from this generational poverty, from this cyclical poverty, from this cyclical failure. I will not be a failure. I refuse to maintain failure at the end of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I will not repeat failure. I will not repeat the trend. Hey, God, say, bring that down under. No more barrenness. You spirit of infirmity, I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Hey, God, they bring that down bra, la, da, di, anda. You desert spirit, come back in the name of Jesus. I bind you and I cast you out. Ah, you bone in the, in the, you, you pain in the bone. Hey, hey, you disease of the bone marrow. I curse you in the name of Jesus. You hole in the heart. You stranger in the heart. Hey, God, they brag that come out in the name of Jesus. Hey, God, they brag that they brag that you compromise DNA, come out. You compromise genocide, come out in the name of Jesus. We declare a flushing, a purging by the blood of Jesus. Hey, God, they brag that they brag that the other. Don't keep quiet now, even if you don't know what to pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, begin to declare your healing, declare your victory. Hey, God, they brag that they brag that the other. Sepekatu, Loyanda, Sapakayakata. Father, we exalt your name, we give you praise. And together we eat the bread in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Eat your bread. And together we drink the cup in Jesus' name. Come on, begin to rejoice for testimony. Rejoice.
for answer prayer. Lord, we exalt your name. We rejoice mightily. We give you praise, O God. We worship you. May God be brother secretary Eliada. We give you praise for the infusion of strength. We thank you for the privilege to come and pray. Thank you, Daddy, for the first baptism of fire. Father, we give you praise because our prayers take a new turn. Father, we thank you for the cadence of prayer. Thank you, Daddy, Lord, for the audacity of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the command of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for fresh fire, fresh anointing. Oh, Lord, to run with our mandate. Thank you, Father, because our life can never remain the same. Thank you, Father, because everyone who comes to this altar taps the fire that the enemy cannot cope with. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope you have been blessed. May you remain empowered, renewed. May you mount up with the wings of eagles. May you soar higher and higher in Jesus' name. Remember, we are coming back at midnight. Please get some rest and come and join us on this altar as we continue with the study of the end time. We are comparing the book of Revelation and Jeremiah. Yesterday, we looked at the book of Jeremiah, I mean, and today we are going to be looking at the book of Revelation. See so you at midnight. Please don't forget the seed, the prophetic seed. We are at the 8,000 mark right now. God is faithful. I know that whatever the Lord does is forever. Nothing can be taken from me. Nothing can be added to you. God has done it. I may should fear before him. I pray God for all those who have responded. And I pray for those who have the intention to. May the Lord put seed in your hand. Because he gives seed to the soul and bread to the earth. And for everyone who has used that seed as a point of contact. May this month not end before you see the miracle that you desire. I say in the mighty name of Jesus, breakthrough will come for you. Every single one of us who has sown in tears. The Bible says we will doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing our sheep. If you still want to be part of this wagon, this miracle wagon, please send your seed to Neymar to Pajimil via PayPal or Zell. It is not under compulsion. I pray that you are moved prophetically to sow. And I pray that you enjoy prophetic rewards in the mighty name of Jesus. And please, if this ministry has been a blessing to you, share the recording. Invite someone to join us. See you at me now. Let's share the name of benediction. I am blessed with the blessing of the Father God Almighty. I am blessed with the blessing of heaven above in Christ Jesus. I am blessed with the blessing of the field. I am blessed with the blessing of the deep within. I am blessed with the blessing of the breath. I am blessed with the blessing of the womb. I am blessed with all spiritual, material, and marital blessings this season. I am blessed when I go out and when I come in. My blessing exceeds that of my ancestors and all those who have gone ahead of me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. See you at midnight. Bye for now.